everybody happy Friday I have something for you today um, this came in the mail and I immediately opened it and did a video for you and had the whole thing um, set sideways so we're gonna try it again because you know I'm determined to get this whole video thing working correctly all right so what do I have for you today this is called Christmas gifting I love the Stampin' Up! kits. They're terrific. If you just feel like crafting and you don't want to get all your stuff out, you just open the box and do everything. So we're going to be making these three tags today. Now, I'm going to make them as the directions say. You don't have to, to be honest. You really don't. You can do them any way you want. But I thought, well, I'll show you what the directions are telling you to do. And then from there, you know, go crazy. So I already made these, like I said, in another. So I'm going to drag them out here. So there's this one. And that one. And this one. Cute, yeah? So what I like to do when I do kits, let's get this party started, is you always get multiple of the cards or the tags that you're going to make. So I find it easier to pull the stuff out and sort of sort it. So we're going to be making three. So I'm going to put one each of these cards out. And as you can see, it in the kit comes with, you make three of each card. I've made two screwed up video. We'll have set these aside. Now these are the back sides of the card. So we'll shift these out let's see this one goes with that one and this one goes with uh, this one and which leaves that one with that one all right and so we have our um stamping spot in shaded spruce we have our stamps we have our sticky dots see glue included sticky dots these are dimensionals to pop up our labels and look fabulous. And here's our thread and a useful bag. We've got this is our block. Put our stamps on. Now these are our spots. They're going to go on the back side. So we'll give everybody a spot here. These are just um, regular paper. We're going to be stamping on them. And these are the labels which we're going to be stamping on as well. Let's see, who gets the black one? I think it's the star, there we go. And come on out of there. And you get the red one. Oh no, you get the red one. Who gets the green one? Ah, Christmas tree gets the green one. There we go, so that was easy, pull that out. There's our extras. Now these little lovelies, get them out here so you can see. We have laser die cuts, and they are fine as hen teeth here. So carefully pop them out. Ah, come on now. They're so precisely cut, they actually stick to to it the bits of paper just you know doing what paper does as you can see it's very cleanly cut there we go you go with the deer now this one I messed up a little bit so when I go back to when I go to use him I'll probably glue him down a little bit better all right and now this page over here we have two different die cuts so we have some fluffy, fuzzy Christmas bow. You know, I just had to get that in there. You have to say the word bow. That whole O-U-G-H thing is so much fun. Okay, and let's see. This one goes with, well, with the Christmas tree. Go figure. And this one is... Oh, well, you're going to come out. Let's get you then. The last one. Now you get this piece of chipboard. Everything actually comes wrapped with the chipboard on the bottom. Don't throw this away. Use this as your stamping pad. I set the box aside for now. So that's it makes it a really nice surface as 
Well, you can tell I already filmed it. But we're going to do it all again. So here's each of our things. Let's start with our deer. My deer. Now these are the bits we stamp on. And what do we got here? Let's poke our deer out. Suppose we should call it him a rain. No, not a him, her. Call her a reindeer. Because it's the females that have the horns in the wintertime. Bit of trivia there that nobody really cares about. All right. Let us say. Now this says that we stamp just for you on here. Let's pull our paper off. Let's find our just for you. Now, uh, what I do with these is I set them down first. And so they relax because they're they're stretchy and you see, isn't that fun? We can actually, if we wanted to make this, we could curve it around. There's all kinds of things you could do with them. But when you really want to stamp them in a straight line, just sort of flop them down and let them relax a bit and then pick it up. And yes, that looks straight. All right, what I tell people to do, and I've already done this with this stamp, but I'm just going to show you, is whenever you're using photopolymer stamps, oh, where is it? Um, I like to use a wider, you can use one of these white erasers. This is the soft one, not the hard vinyl ones. You can use this or you can use just your regular um, pink rubber pencil eraser and just rub it over the top because all brand new stamps, um, when they're made from the factory, they have a mold release agent on them. See, that doesn't want to stick. There we go. And this stuff needs to be removed because it's so it doesn't stick to the mold, but also the ink won't stick to it. So check it out. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to try to hold it. It's um really dull looking. You don't see the shiny here. So I've just dulled it up a little bit. And if you get a little bit of, what is that, some eraser crumbs in there. Does everybody else call them crumbs? I call them crumbs. All right, I didn't get this stuck on, so it's not being straight. Push this on here firmly. There we go. All right, perfect. Now we're gonna stamp onto here. We need our ink spot. And we turn this over and just give it a tap, 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 which is another nice thing about photopolymer stamps. It's really easy to tell how much ink you have on here and whether or not you have it inked up correctly. So you pat, pat, pat. Take a look really quick. There we go. Let's pull our paper up. It's a little bit hard to line up because the camera's right where I would put my head if I were lining things up. So I'm just going to have to kind of give it give it my best guess. And let's press in here tightly like that. And you just want to leave it to set just a second. Let that ink absorb in there. And voila, a perfect stamp. And I got lucky. No, actually, it's very easy to make a perfect stamp. Now, um, use a damp paper towel or a cloth and wipe that off. Fantastic. No, we don't need that anymore. Now, this is a little to and from. So let's find that on here. Stick that back. There we go. There's our little to and from. And we're going to do, like I said, I've already done this, so I'm not going to do the eraser again. Pat, pat, pat. We just hold it up, check it. It doesn't look right. I'm going to give it a quick stamp off. Let's see. Yeah, that was fine. Okay, let's put just a bit more ink on here. Another nice thing about circles is you don't so much line them up is make sure you get it roughly where you want it in the circle. So this is nice because the two in the front are already lined up to one another. So we're just going to kind of go over to one side and give it a little push down and pop up and it is done. I pushed a little too hard on that one. We got a bit of fuzz, but um, I think only I would have noticed that. I don't even know if it shows up on the camera. All right, this is done. And now the rest is so fast, so easy. 
the to and from get stuck onto here like this according to the directions. I'm going to use my little spots here and I'm going to use this to help me pick them up because I'm a little bit klutzy. So do that. Put it over. Now we only want the glue down on one side here. Uh-oh. Come on, Spot. Don't stick to that. And pop the little edges off. Boop, boop. Yeah, when you want them to pop, they don't pop. When you don't want them to, they fly across the room. All right, so just line that up as you like and pop that in there. And this is like a little gift card holder. So that this is, so you can see in there. Now it's gonna be lined up to this, but first, first we add our greenery. And according to our handy dandy directions, it says we need two of these spots on the back of the greenery. So there's spot number one and spot number two. Pop the bits off, pop them off. <laughs> Force them off, grunting and straining. Okay, that really wasn't that hard. There we go. I just kind of line it up to the bottom so I have a straight line here. Push that in, I think I want a little bit that way. Kind of center it up and then push them down. Then we'll take our just for you. And according to our little directions, this this gets raised up a little bit. So we're going to pop our dimensionals onto there. And the directions say we're going to use three. Uh, okay. Okay, the directions do not say stick three dimensionals to your fingers. They're pretty specific about putting them down onto the paper. But again, you can do this any way you want. Come on, you guys. Turn it over, take a look, make sure we have it right side up, which we did not. There we go. Pull this over here, and this lines up to the edge. You're covering the bit down here, so the anchor bit, I guess, did you recall it? And push them down. Voila. Poke out the little hole up there. Poke out the little hole here. See, here's the other nice thing about using a piece of paper is you just pick it all up and dump it in the garbage. All right. Or the trash or the bin or however you say it. Being an American, we say garbage or trash. Um, living here in England, I say dump it in the bin. Now, this is what our little bits of string are for that came with it. Now, it tells you on here to cut it 12 inches or 30.5 centimeters. Um, there is a ruler on the side of the, um, thing, directions, I'll show you. Unfortunately, it only goes to 9 inches or 22 centimeters. So since I'm lazy and I don't do, I avoid doing maths as much as I possibly can, I'm just going to pull in my regular ruler and... Just pop a 30, 30 centimeters. And since I know I'm going to need two of this, I'm just going to go on and cut this now. Okay, 30.5 is right here. Uh-oh, scissors. We did need a pair of scissors for this one. Usually you don't need scissors for anything. But that's all right. There we go. 
30 centimeters. That one's actually done. And we'll do these. Come on, off of here. You know, while the ruler's out, let me cut the green one. I just have one green one here. You do get a little bit of extra cord here. But I still would just, I'd measure kind of carefully though, because, you know, there's, there's probably enough to do another one on there. But yeah, there would be, because I've got one more to do. So it's going to be pretty dead on. Let me get my wicked scissors. So I tell you what, these things are so sharp. Get them where they're not going to injure me. All right. Now we thread this through the hole like this. You make sure that this one is turned around so the back side is here. This is what's going to show through from the deer hand. And we push this through the hole, sliding everything around. Come on. There we go. we go like that see it's lovely this wants to lay it just it wants to curve if I get too crazy with it I can probably get another one of those glue dots and smash it down all right and then you use this to tie in tight I always do a square knot, right over left, left over right, and there we have it. There is our first number one deer, and in the back you pop your, pop your bits. So that is ready to go. These make nice little gifts for teachers, and especially if you want to use a gift card, you can actually pop this in an envelope. Um, I, I mean, I personally wouldn't. I would give it just like this, but it would look nice popped in an envelope. So for teacher's gifts or, you know, your hairdressers or uh, maybe you just want to leave a tip in a in a restaurant for a server that's been particularly wonderful. So that is, that's some great things to do with these. Okay, next we have our star. Let's just crack on here and poke it out. Come on, poke, poke. There we go. Oh, I've got an idea for that. Maybe if, I, if we have time when I'm done, well, I'll show you something to do with that. All right, that one's done. We know that this is going to go on here. So let's just go ahead and where's my thing? I'm going to use the other end, I think. Let's go with a pointy end. Let's see if that is a little less clutzing here. All right, so pop up our glue dot. Come on, glue dot. Down. And down. And get rid of the paper portion. Doop. And paper portion go. Gonna make sure you get these off of here because they'll go back down and stick you. They'll go down, they'll bite you. You'll look up and say, oh man, why doesn't that stick? Okay, does that look pretty center? Doesn't want it slightly more that way. No, too much. There we go. I, I like that where it sort of comes up around the edge. All right, and now let us stamp our greeting. According to this, they recommend for the star the, the oldie Merry Christmas. So let's go for that one. Oh, this is really pretty tight. All right, let's just let it down, let it relax a minute. Firmly affix, and yes, this one is still dolled out. Lord, I don't know about you guys, so I have to make sure there's no cat hair in there. All right, here's our green ink. We're going to pat, pat, pat now. And for anybody new crafting out there, these ink spots, if you store them like this, upside down, 
um, they last quite a long time and they will re retain their inkiness. They also, if you have more than one, you can stack them, which is nice. All right, I've been chatting. So if you feel like you might have, um, if your ink might be drying, all you have to do is huff on it. So you just, just basically go <sighs> and make it all foggy and then hold it up here. And we're going to line it up. Try not to put my head in the way. There we go. Press evenly. And straight up. And there we have Medi Grismos. Give it a wipe while it's still wet. Here we go. Now let's do something other than the two from. How about... One of my favorite words, enjoy. So I'm going to lay it down here and pick it up. Let's do that on our back bed. Come on. There we go. And like I said, spots, you don't have to worry too much about lining them up. Okay. Nice, even press. Get the wipe here. Hold this. Yeah. Stick this down. A lot of people use baby wipes to do this. You can throw them away when you're done. That works perfectly. All right, stick down our enjoy. Oh, wait, have a look. Spots over on this side. Pop off the dot. <laughs> yeah, that one popped. Okay, I'll put it on. And of course, they say to put it here. You can put it down there. You can put it in the back and tuck it in the edge. Anywhere you want to do it. That's the nice thing about these. They give you some nice tools and things to put together in a way you want to do it. Uh, which makes it a great fun thing to do with kids. Especially if you have a you know, kids have more than one teacher, which they usually do these days. I'm going to have make, make one of these for each of their teachers. Buy a teacher a cup of coffee. They always enjoy that. So many places this year have gift tags, gift tags, gift, um, gift certificates, gift cards. All right, there we go, all lined up. Now let's do the last bit here. I think you get a red, yes, he gets the red one. Pop it through the hole. And through here, just like we did last time. Come on. I do want to kind of make this even. There we go. Okay, right over the top of left and left over the top of right. Come on. Yeah, it doesn't help when everything's sticking to you. And this is why I don't tie bows on camera either. <sighs> Honestly, what's the difficulty here? There. Oop, all done. Number two. 
uh, set this aside and we've got the last one i hope this has not been too boring for you guys i tend to not talk i get excited about what i'm doing and i start concentrating so what shall we do with this one this is a christmas tree i absolutely love this there we go pop that out of the center let's put our pine bow down that's white on top, but it's always good to look at the back and make sure you're looking at the right color. Okay, glue dots. Glue dot number one. Glue dot number two. Pop it loose. Pop it loose. Let's turn it over. There we go, that looks fabulous. Now this one, according to this one, it says a little something for a friend. Let's see, where is that? Oh, I like this one, look at this one. This one says for our home to yours. Let's do this one. All right, here we go. Remember, lay it down, relax it out, firmly pick up. This is easy. You guys know the drill by now. Pat, pat, pat with our ink. that on there good let's line her up oh well did all right if you ever mess it up just flip it over and do it on the other side i think it gives you a couple of extras if you mess them up but honestly it's hard to mess these up you can see through it and you just look it down in and it's fabulous. We stick this back on our paper here. And, oh, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna use this one. It says, with love. I, did, I think I've used this one before. Yeah, I did use this one before. Yep. Let's give it a pat, pat, pat. firmly and pop it off and there we go quick and easy clean 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 I always stop and clean my stamps I know some people just set them aside and it's boring for you to watch me clean my stamps but it's such a good habit to get into um, the ink if you leave it on the stamps it can actually get to the point it gets thick and it won't stamp clearly which is a bummer all right, let's stick these on. Let's see, we want them on that side. Now you can also bring in your own cardstock and still using this great little stamp set. Because this is these are you know full-size regular stamps. These aren't minis or anything. You you get the good stuff when you get these kids. And you can use, you know, any color, obviously, but the green will do you well for Christmas. But, um, you know, from our home to yours, that's not necessarily um, Christmas. That could be Easter. That could be a housewarming present. So you can continue to use these you know, pretty much all year. I mean, enjoy. That goes really quite well with a basket of Easter candy. Now let's do this one. This is our dimensional, so we're going to pop this up for a little bit of extra fabulousness. There we go. Ah. 
See, sticking your fingers to the dimensionals, time honored tradition. There we go. Let's pick this up. Go down to here. Line it up to cover the bottom there. And there we have it from our home to yours. Let's get our green cord out this time. See, concentrating, stop talking. All right, let's see if I can tie this this time without being total fumble fingers. Probably not. I think klutzing must be in my blood. Okay, right over the top. And there we go, and now left over the top. Two nice square knot and that now we have it and here we go folks very fast very easy very useful Christmas gifting kit thanks so much for hanging out with me this morning I hope you enjoyed this and um, I'll see you next Friday thanks a lot have a great day